We're getting divorced because I'll be happier with a younger man. Wait, wait, wait a minute, please! I'm in such a difficult situation. Can I come back home? Trouble Busters! What? You want a divorce? Yep, we're getting divorced because I'll be happier with a younger man. Hey, bro, I'm that younger man. I love your wife, so I'd like you to give it to me. I'm dead serious here. Who the hell is this uninteresting loser? Did I seriously lose to this goddamn dimwit? <laughs> Isn't he attractive? Oh, my sweet O. Oh? What kind of peaceful meditation during the day, questionable work at night sound and ass name is that? Oh, it's short for another name, bro. My full name is Owen. Uh, isn't his name really too good to be true? I mean, it's just an average Irish name. Nothing too unique. Did I seriously lose to this prick? I've already proposed to her, by the way. Done and done with, bro. It was a truly heart-pounding proposal. Such a huge difference from the sorry excuse of a proposal you did 20 years ago. A huge difference, my- You frickin' cried, Kimberly! Uh, cried? Those were tears of frickin' sadness since you were never going to propose unless I urged you to, right? The restaurant wasn't three-star Michelin. Moreover, we couldn't frickin' enjoy the beautiful night view because of the stupid-ass rain and clouds. Zero impression at all. I still remember how emotionless you looked when you proposed, Thomas. Literally the worst thing you can do. But the worst thing of all was the engagement ring. Huh? It was quite nice. I did my best to find you a good one as a heartfelt present. Do you send a princess a good one, huh? Usually a man would give a top-notch branded ring as an engagement present. That is what a prince ought to do to his princess. By comparison, O's ring to me was a diamond one that cost him over $20,000. My name means well-born, you see, and I just had to make this birth of our life together something special. Remember me every time you look at your ring, okay, babe? Life isn't easy or enjoyable at all. Easy or enjoyable. Our life is like most other people. You can't live like royalty on a normal salary now, can you? No, you can't. What, were you actually thinking you could? I thought you would change after marriage, but you haven't in the slightest, and I'm disappointed. Before, before instead of after. Is that why you cheated on me? I didn't cheat. I found someone better. Well, then you're even worse than I thought. I want to live as a woman forever, see? You only live once after all, I can't lie to myself. Yeah, you cleverly list all the good things about the situation, but realistically, just because you want to live as a woman is not a good reason to cheat on your husband. And I can't lie to myself is just another way of saying you're insufferably selfish. I understand everything, Kimberly. Both of you look like they'll get away with this, but that's not going to happen. I'm going to take everything I possibly can and leave you two to rot away in hell. You've done something so heinous you deserve that kind of retribution, so I expect you're ready for what's going to come, huh? Take everything I possibly can? Alimony, bitch! Inviting your lover over to present me the brutal and honest truth means you two can't help but want to pay me alimony, right? Alimony. A man in love with a broken heart always says that very word. Call me whatever the frick you idiots want. I'm just charging you according to the law. Hm. By all means, then. You committed the crime of giving Kimberly a veritable princess who deserves the world and the stars beyond the horizon, all tied up and stuffed into a small metal box of life full of cold treatment and unchanging dullness. I wanted her to be a beautiful woman for a long time, as much as she wanted, so I didn't pay attention to her beauty-related spending sprees, and about the money spent on travel and gourmet food, I was pulling a lot of strings to make sure we would be okay even after everything. And I'm a guy who always, always wants money well spent, not wasted. I would never have been able to give her the permission I did without my love for her. And yet, you decided betraying me was the way to go. I didn't betray you, I just reached my limit. Huh. Thomas, you've become a little senile, haven't you? 
become senile, you say? Right on, sister. Studies show age steadily increases every single damn year. Really? I don't think I changed very much. What are you saying? Give me a frickin' break. Are you serious about that? How much do you spend on beauty parlors and shit like that? Plucking money from trees, are we? I'm not saying you should just be grateful, but don't take it for granted. And why would I be devoted to you? Because I love you, right? Stop being so patronizing. I'm not being patronizing. I'm telling you to stop taking things for granted. That's literally called being patronizing. Oh, would never say something like that. You're losing in that aspect as well. Of course, it's natural for a husband to do everything he can to maintain his wife's beauty. You freaking suck, bro. <laughs> On your days off, you dress so sloppily and play horse racing games. And what's so bad about that? I have a desire to race horses. And I don't think it's a good idea to do the real damn thing, which is why I play a game instead. By the way, this horse racing game was from six years ago. I've been working hard on building up a reputation. Oh, here always wears a suit and looks nice whenever he meets me. Nothing like you. Why do I have to wear a suit and look sharp even inside the house? Huh? Because it's not attractive, and it detracts me from what's important. Detracts you? Quite the stereotype you've got, though, saying that a man must look crisp in a suit even at home. Fundamentally, you never made me happy, so of course something like that has to be a routine for you. Shouldn't be too much trouble to wear a suit around the house, right? Why do I have to live so formally at home, which is my only place to relax and be myself for a little? Oh, I can't. I really can't. I've never felt happy being with you for too many years. What the? What? Did you think the opposite? I wouldn't suggest getting divorced if I was actually happy, now would I? I, I did everything for you because I love you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't need any of that bullshit. You did it for me. You love me. There are people other than you who do the same, see? And you lost, Thomas. No, uh, you... If you can get something better than what you have, switching is inevitable. If you don't want to be betrayed, better become the best there is in the first place. You couldn't do that. That's why you lost. That's literally all there is to it. The main character in romantic stories always makes some surprises for the woman and always puts her in a good mood. I aspire to have something like that. It's the ideal life for me. It has to be like that, otherwise I won't ever be happy. You had an opponent too worthy is all. That doesn't mean you're weak. I'm just strong. Ugh. 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 <laughs> I never thought I'd cry so genuinely after I turned 40 years old. I was completely convinced the only time I would would be if my wife passed on before I did. Wait, so then there's nothing wrong with crying here, is there? Kimberly did her best to deny me and chastise me just there, and there was no trace of the woman I originally fell in love with in the past. In that sense, the wife I loved with a passion indescribable was no longer in this world and had gone on to some other place. <laughs> go! 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 Keep it up! Shit, man! I'm in the middle of a decisive battle right now. Who the frick could it be? What? What the hell do you want? Forgot something, did you? Thomas, listen to me. There are a lot of things I hate in this world. And at the top is your love for... That's not what I'm here for, isn't it? I'm in such a difficult situation right now. Can I come back home? Could this be a miracle? I'd been so frustrated because I couldn't get them punished in any way, except for money, which was easily settled. So maybe this was my chance for revenge. In that case... Unforgivable! Trouble Busters initiate! Hell no! No? But if you don't let me go back, I'll be in trouble! I'll pack up my things and start living here again tomorrow! I adamantly refuse. This door will never be opened for you. What? Why? Because I hate you second only to Ebola. 
don't say that, please. Something was wrong with me. I swear, you're definitely the best, Thomas. That may be true, but I'm out of your league, so I shall never interact with you again. More to the point, the alimony that both you and Owen owe me is frozen, huh? What's up with that? I don't want to hear about that at a time like this. You can't run away from reality, or rather, what, do you want me to withhold Owen's salary or something? Listen, Thomas, Trent is such a terrible person. Who the frick is Trent? <laughs> Telling me his name won't do you any good. My social circle is so freaking small. Trent is Ogan, dimwit. Ah, so Owen was his fake name. Who the frick was Ogan? That prick was a complete fake, not just his name. I don't care. In case you didn't know, you and I got divorced, and now, as a stranger to you, I have nothing to do with your problems anymore. <laughs> Why are you so cold? You turned cold first, Miss Johnson. More precisely, the blood-pumping organ of yours in your chest froze solid, leaving no way for me to thaw it, and you mercilessly abandoned me with the brutality of a crocodile attack. That's because I was deceived. And who's to blame for getting deceived, huh? Whose fault is it that a situation where you would be deceived was created? Because you didn't try hard enough to touch my heart again. Huh? Trent saw me, and my troubled spirit saw his chance, took a leap of faith, and... Well... I don't care. Then I'll tell you. Actually, I started living with Trent and was living with enthusiasm, thinking that I was going to have a fresh start in my life, but just one week ago, a big foreigner came into the house and told me, hey, pay attention with that mouth of yours. She was such a huge bother barging into the house like that, yelling at me. Bruh, nah, that's exactly what you're doing right now. <laughs> I'm calling the police was my retort, but her response was, Of course, naturally the police will come. You invaded my room after I started living with Trent. I am his wife. I have the right to live here. Ah, uh, I see. So Trent not only had you, but another woman before you, huh? <laughs> That's right. Isn't he terrible? <laughs> so, are you currently spending time with Trent and a foreigner woman now? No, uh, just the two of us. Two of you? I'm currently living with Marie Dominique, who's living with me. Huh, bruh, I did not think you were living with her. <laughs> Didn't you successfully fight her and live happily ever after with Trent? If so, I wouldn't be coming to your house. Be careful with what you say. And now there's an eternal battle of curses fighting over who's going to leave? Probably, Parsec, you're staying at home and show no intention of getting the freak out. Just leave already. This room belongs to me and Trent, all right? You freaking leave the house, eh? This house belongs to me and Trent, especially this alope. For the sake of my son, too, I will not go anywhere. Get out! You get out! This is my home. No, this is my home. <laughs> Seems like America and France can't coexist peacefully on a fundamental level. Oh, what about Trent? What does he say about this? He's not living there because he frickin' ran away. Ran away? This cause and effect scenario couldn't be more picture perfect. But no, if you laugh right here, right now, you won't be able to get any more delicious nutrients from what the bitch sowed. Endure, Thomas lad. Endure through to the end and experience the sublime taste of vengeance completely. I, um, why did he run away? How did he run away? He said he was going to buy some milk, but he never came back. Since then, both of us have insisted that the house is ours, and neither one of us has moved a single step. It's become such a battle of durable stubbornness that even I find it incomprehensible. Oh, such pointless stubbornness. You would take the side of a woman you just met for the first time? I hate you so much that I genuinely want to support your enemy, to be honest, even if I had only met them for the first time. But for the sake of the argument, I remain neutral. I'm his true wife, so it's only natural that I frickin' claim the house is mine, and yet... How are you paying the rent for the house now? What about the living expenses? Th that would be... Well, Trent ran away five months ago, and since then, 
Well, Marie Dominique insists that since I'm the stupid goody two-shoes little freeloader princess, I should pay for everything. With no electricity, gas, and water? Th this is no time to be stubborn. Uh, how about we split it 50-50 and restore our lifelines here? Ah, oui, oui. Bon idée. And just like that, everything went back to normal and is restored. But after that, the fight continued on. I will not lose to you in powder in the house, eh? It's gone on for so impossibly long. <laughs> and now, still pretty hostile? No, in fact, the hostilities disappeared, and now... Oh, some stew? To say, you always eat processed lunches and instant pot dinners. It doesn't make much of a difference if it's just one person. And if you get sick and something happens to you, I'll have to pay the rent for this house, mon ami. And for everything else. W well, sure, but despite your kindness, I have no intention of leaving, you know. Ah, you'll only be kicked out after Trent returns. When he does, I will kick your ass so very hard. So be prepared, okay? Until the problem is resolved, we are both an indispensable source of contribution to the house that we can't afford to lose, so we take care of each other. You seem to have been playing with my son, Ayn. Eh? Oh, yeah, he was looking kind of bored. Thank you, Cherie. It's a very big help. But, but you're also cooking me meals and teaching me recipes. Uh, not like I really need any gratitude. In a nutshell, I'm freaking scared that things are going rather well right now. <laughs> is, is that so? Even that son of hers now calls me Auntie Kay and genuinely considers me a part of his family. And I'm not bad with kids either, so this is dangerous. At this rate, I can't tell Marie Dominique to get the hell out when Trent comes back. Isn't there a lot of uh, strange emotions going on? This is also his freaking fault. Uh, no, it's your own fault. You're still saying that? Damn, you're stubborn. I'm telling you that I was simply deceived, you know? But that's a future that could have been prevented if you hadn't gotten involved with your darling little sweetheart, huh? You were the reason why I resorted to that course of action. Whatever the reason, the words of a woman who was attracted to another man and succeeded in wooing him over enough to be able to stab her husband in the back are not convincing in the slightest. You're merely trying to justify your own heinous actions. I feel sick to my stomach listening to you try to make sense of your crimes. You're a man, right? Watch that mood and tone of yours. You swore to value me as your wife, eternally precious, so frickin' help me! It must be the same for you because you also swore to cherish me as your husband, eternally precious. You swore in the chapel, right? Miss Kimberly Johnson, will you have Mr. Thomas Smith to be your husband to live together in the covenant of marriage? Do you promise to love him, comfort him, honor, and keep him in sickness and in health? Forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live. Th those are just words. Can you say those four words with the nonchalance in front of your parents, my parents, and all your relatives? Listen to me. You swore loyalty in front of everyone, huh? If you say that, you too... Don't try to escape shifting the blame. You lost to yourself. You did something you shouldn't have done, claiming it's all my fault. No matter how mean or sneaky or ungrateful you were all those years, I had the responsibility of choosing to put up with your bullshit. And I lived true to my word. I was intent on making you understand one day that blaming others will only lead you to disaster. And that didn't come across to me? My fault again? No matter how many reasons you give, whether it's my fault or not, what you've done is adultery and cannot be forgiven. Understand now just how sinful and dark cheating on your husband can be. And I am telling you, I understand now. I wouldn't rely on you or apologize to you if I didn't. The reason you're relying on me isn't because you understand everything, but because you're in trouble. That's also true, though. Only that is true. Apologizing? In my current interaction with you, which part exactly did you say the words I'm sorry to me, huh? That's exactly what I'm doing, knocking on your door like this, to apologize. From the beginning until now, where was your apologetic soul in the stupid content of your current status reports and requests for rescue? I was going to after I finished talking about that. 
When you realize that what you've done hurt someone, the first thing you should do is apologize. Are you the type who cares about things like that? Listen to me! Do you understand just how sinful you've been? I... I do. Then tell me. See? If you don't understand that, there's no way you can apologize at all. What did you want to apologize for, anyway? Why were you trying to apologize? You just want to help yourself. No! Just yourself! No, I say! If not, start by caring about the person you hurt in the first place. I don't care about your troubles. Evaluate whether I'm in a position to listen or not. Then tell me about how despicable and degrading your actions were and how ashamed you are of yourself. This is only making things worse for you. He was dating another woman, too. He ran away. I freaking assumed both of those things and so much more. What? Why? There's no way a relationship where another guy just casually approaches you and starts a physical relationship with you is going to frickin' last long, Kimberly. You can cheat because it's not serious. Only people who have no interest in other people's sadness and believe themselves to be numero uno are the ones who cheat. You try to justify that by saying painful things like, You only live once. I don't want to regret it. I want to be a woman forever and ever. Among other brainless things, I doubt a bird brain like you would understand that, though. Marriage isn't just about what you get. To know that you didn't imagine that before marriage goes to show just how childish and unattractive you are. My only regret is that I couldn't see for the kind of woman that you really were. Selfish, self-centered, and unfaithful. What's up? Am I speaking the truth so accurately your voice has been shut off? <laughs> you won't get any help from me, so you better just give up now. So you aren't helping after all? Of course not! Why should I save the very same person who trampled my heart irreparably? Don't say that, darling, please. Please help me. I I'm in serious trouble. Seriously, if this weird cohabitation relationship continues, I'm just so worried about what will happen in the future. I can't help but feel so happy that you're so frickin' worried about the future. <laughs> please help me! More importantly, I'm behind on alimony payments. Take care of it, all right? Enough with the money. Stop! Can't be helped. The only connection I have with you is the alimony. Since it was very malicious, a total of $40,000 in monthly payments of a thousand each, <laughs> I think it's still a long way from paying it all off. So do your best to pay it, all right? <laughs> Please stop. I regret everything. If I had the time to hear an apology from you without even knowing what you did wrong, I'd rather listen to cement dry. Is your love for me so shallow that it would fall apart after a single harmless affair? Answer me, Thomas! Answer me! After that, I received many messages and emails, but of course, I ignored them all. She made me laugh enough, and I don't want to get involved any further, but... Take care of it, bro! Hell yeah, brother! Using my mate's resourcefulness, I was able to find out where Trent resided now and leaked that info to Kimberly and that single mother. As a result, the two of you caught his ass and dragged him back home to begin living together. The three of them in this weird system of hostile cooperation. If you just listen to what's going on now, it'll seem like something straight out of Netflix. But it seems two of the characters are so taboo that it would be impossible to make it into a movie. Until they pay the $40,000 they owe me each, my ex-wife and her lover, I'll do my best to stay involved with them. But not more than necessary. I hope that by the time that's done with, I'll have another kind of happiness that I've never had before. Trouble Busters.